Dune has come out this weekend, and here I am going to be reviewing the film as I just saw it last night. And man, I have been waiting so long to see this movie. I cannot tell you guys how excited I was as soon as it was announced who was going to be directing, who was starring in this movie, and just knowing the overall aspect of what Dune is to so many people. I have been wanting to see this story on the big screen for a very long time now. Again, ever since it was announced that Denis Villeneuve was going to be the one directing this film, I love Denis Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve is one of the best directors working today. He is one of the top three best directors, and I will go and watch anything that he puts out. And so, I finally watched the movie, and full transparency, before we get underway, I want to make this clear. I have not seen the 1984 film, or I think it's 86. It's one of those two years. I have not seen the original film, and I have also not read the book or seen the original TV movie series, I guess if you want to call it that. I have not seen anything or read anything Dune related. So I went into this movie with a fresh mind, fresh slate, didn't know anything about the story, and I had such a good time. I had a good time. I, I, I'll i be full honest. I had a really, really good time. I thought this was a really, really good movie. As close to a masterpiece as 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 it gets, to be honest with you. Especially even from a technical uh, standpoint. I would say that this is a technical masterpiece. If we're talking about everything from cinematography to music to the sound design and even the sound mixing and sound editing and a lot of the other technical parts of this movie, even from costume design and makeup and all that stuff, this movie is a masterpiece. It is so good on that level. The directing, fantastic. Denis Villeneuve, as always, shines in his directing. He is just, this this movie, again, it just proves that he is one of the best working today. And I just love that his directing and the fact that Recently in his filmography, he's done a lot of these types of movies, like a Blade Runner 2049. Blade Runner 2049 was, if I'm correct, that was his last movie. Yeah, Blade Runner 2049 was the last movie that Denis Villeneuve did. And Dune, in a way, is kind of similar to Blade, 20, Blade Runner 2049. Obviously, it's not the exact same thing, but the scale and the epicness and just the overall just the technical aspects of what made Blade Runner 2049 what it was, it's similar here in Dune. And Denis Villeneuve just shines throughout, whether with how he shoots the movie, with how each scene is directed, and how he directs his actors. It's so good, and it shows, again, why he's one of the best directors working today. Uh, the acting, and speaking of the acting, acting from all around, from every actor in this film is solid. It's great. Great acting from everybody. I loved everybody in this movie, from Timothy Chalamet to Rebecca Ferguson to Oscar Isaac to Josh Brolin to Stellan Skarsgård as the main villain in the movie, uh, even to a guy like... Um, even to a guy like Jason Momoa, who Jason Momoa is, is another guy that I really like as an actor. He is really good in this movie as the character Duncan Idaho, uh, which is which is a really cool name. I like the name Duncan Idaho. That's a good name. So all the actors, again, all actors around, great acting, solid acting. I loved the acting. They 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 put their part. Even Zendaya, even with the limited screen time that Zendaya has in this film, she is really good on screen. She's she's good at what she does. Uh, and so, again, acting, great, solid music score by the great legend Hans Zimmer. The score on this movie is fantastic. It, it, is, is, it is as Hans Zimmer as I think any score would get. And, you know, knowing Hans Zimmer, who has made some of the best music that has ever been created, you know, I, I, I continue to go back and say this. Interstellar, uh, if you have never seen Interstellar, Interstellar is some of the best, I would go as far to say it is the greatest music that has ever ever been made it, i think it definitely is it, it's some of the best just it, it makes you feel a certain way and that's why every time i watch interstellar the music just adds to why i always cry when i watch that movie every time i watch interstellar i always cry when i see that movie and the music plays a great part in it and so hans zimmer here with dune he does it. He does it again. He he makes a great score. There's not a score by Hans Zimmer that I can outright say that he just he just did not do that good on. And this one here again with Dune, I think it's pretty pretty solid. Uh, other than that, I mean, I really don't know what else to say as far as positives. I mean, I I pretty much just praise this entire film. There were a couple of things. If I had to critique a couple of things, yes. 
the pacing of the film it can be a little draggy at times it the the pacing definitely drags at certain points in time it doesn't drag throughout the whole film it definitely does not drag throughout the entire film i definitely think there are spurts in time where it does feel like it is getting a little slower and of course it being a two and a half hour movie it's it's very long and you know there are certain points where i could understand where some people might get bored uh my my one friend of mine he he did fall asleep for like a very 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 short time and he woke up eventually and watched kept watching it but yeah i can understand where people will under see that the pacing is a little off uh there are some points i i would say that the ending is very lackluster it, i i would say the last i would say the last 20 or so minutes of the film do kind of not do a lot I mean, nothing really happens of, like, really huge note in the last 20 or so minutes, and it kind of just ends abruptly. And then I would also say that there is something that happens to a certain character, of which I will not say, because it would probably go into spoiler territory, but there is a character in the film, played by a certain actor, a big-named actor, something happens to that character that... I don't know if it was intentionally on purpose what Denis Villeneuve was doing with him or if he was just trying to emphasize that, oh, this is what happened to that person. But something happens to a character in this movie that left me thinking, well, wait, what happened? What, what, are we, is that going to be explained? And I, I really hope that it was intentionally on purpose that he did that instead of just like leaving it the way it was because I, I don't know. It was something that – and. I don't know. I wish I could talk spoilers, but I'm not doing that right now since the movie just came out. And I I, I don't know. Those are my only critiques. Honestly, if, if I had to find any other critiques, those are my only critiques I had with the movie. Other than that, it's a solid, solid, great, great movie. I, I would, I really would go as far to say that this is masterful. It's a master, masterful, masterful film. And so with that being said, if I had to give a verdict, I'm going a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Solid great film i loved this movie i I, and and honestly i think if i had to speak on one more thing that i don't know if it is the fault of the film but maybe it is just up to interpretation about how the general audience takes it and that is basically the fact of how this movie how this movie it looks for looks to people as far as we re-wa- rewatchability and it's not that it has a problem with rewatchability now is that will people rewatch this movie many times down the line when this movie is not in theaters and then as the years go on and by the time that we get to part two of doom because we are getting a second part of of this this series of movies obviously it's not just this one movie there's going to be a second part uh so i, I don't know I don't know how the whole rewatchability aspect of this movie is going to sit with people. I think at some point, maybe I will rewatch it. I, I just don't know how it will affect people now. Like, will people be going out for second times in the, while it's still in theaters? I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. And I hope people do go out and watch it again. I, I think the movie deserves it. It's a great film, guys. Please go watch this movie. I would highly recommend it. And with that being said, I got nothing more to say. That's my review of Dune. And I can't wait for part two i really cannot wait for part two i'm going to see part two day one when it comes out so guys thank you guys all so much for tuning into this video and this review comment down below what you think of the movie did you like it did you not like it i would like to hear what your thoughts are keep it respectful in the comment section let me know down below and as always if you like this review and you like this content that i'm posting please hit that like and subscribe i would greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys all in the next movie review peace out everybody